All right, guys, Nate Silver, a uh, little bit of a surprising rant here for a number of reasons. So let's listen and then we'll break it down. But here's the polling guru himself going after polling outlets. Interesting. Here we go. It's basically 55-45 Trump or 54-45 with a small chance of a tie. Um, yeah. It's been a little weird. I mean, look, um, it's gradually drifted to Trump over actually a fairly long period now. I mean, you know, two out of every three days, Harris has lost ground on the forecast since since roughly early October. Um, you know, it looks like it's stabilized a bit, maybe. I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to learn very much in this last week of the polling. In, in fact, um, I kind of trust pollsters less. This, they all, every time a pollster, oh, every state is, is just a plus one. Every little, every, every single state's a tie. No, you're fucking hurting. You're cheating. You're cheating. Your numbers aren't all going to come out at exactly one point leads when you're sampling 800 people over dozens of surveys. You are lying. You're putting your fucking finger on the scale. I will not name names, but some pollsters are really bad about this. Emerson College. Oops. Was that recorded? Oops. Sorry. So, okay. You heard what he just said. All these guys, all these pollsters are hurting. You're fucking cheating, right? That's what he says. But I'm going to let it play out here because I just, there's a, just a massive glaring contradiction. Insider advantage. All these, all these GOP leaning friends. Oh, oh, we're not going out too far on a limb, Trump. It's just Trump plus one in Pennsylvania every fucking single time. No, that's not how fucking polling works. <laughs> that's not how, that's not how polling is supposed to work. There's a margin of Nate, tell us error. how you really feel. <laughs> So you get hurting and like everyone just, oh, well, I mean, basically the pollsters are 50-50 is a forecast because not all yeah. base rates are 50-50, right? The pollsters are just fucking punting, except the New York Times that actually has balls, right? Um, the pollsters just fucking punting on this election for the most part. I mean, not just the New York Times. There are some of the other poll, high quality polls will actually publish numbers that surprise you once in a while. If a pollster never publishes a number that surprises you, then it has no value. Information that has no potential to be surprising has no value. It should already be kind of like priced into your worldview or kind of priced into like the model in my case. The model had become one in the last week of the election. <laughs> uh, but look, um, all seven swing states are still polling within, it looks like a point and a half here. Maybe Trump leads up to almost two points in Arizona. Yeah, two points in Arizona. So everything's polling within two points. Um, so and Harris has a good poll in Arizona that we haven't encountered for yet, right? So within two points, um, it doesn't take a genius to know that if every swing state is a tie, that the um, overall forecast is a tie. Okay, so do you notice the contradiction there? He's talking about how, hey, they're hurting, they're fucking cheating. Basically, he's saying the pollsters are just going, yeah, it's 50-50 or 51-49. Or... And he's saying that's bullshit, that I've seen so many of your polls for so long, and it can't be that every single one comes back dead tied or plus one. It's just, that's not real. That's not real. So you're just trying to protect your reputation by saying it's 50-50, and then whatever happens, you'll go, hey, we said it was 50-50, so I guess we were okay, right? But then he goes on, like, he's explaining here at the same time, oh, yeah, but the race uh, sort of is tied. And, you know, he's he incorporates all of these pollsters that he says they're cheating. He still has them in his models. Like, what? So you accurately point out these people are fraudulent. They're full of shit. And then you say, but uh, based on my forecasting, which has them in my models, everything appears about 50-50. Do you don't see the contradiction there, Nate? You don't see the contradiction. So, um... Look, I agree with Nate Silver saying they're hurting, they're cheating, this is ridiculous, it's not actually 50-50, but I, I actually went a step further. You know, I think based on the early voting data, I think based on the late polling, um, I think the, the voters they're sampling, it's all off. I think you're not nearly accounting enough for the late breakers going overwhelmingly for Kamala, Kamala winning independence massively, Kamala destroying with older women who normally are pro-Republican, and now they're not. Now they're massively pro-Democrat. So um, I don't know, for the life of me, I don't know how you could think that it's a 50-50 it's a race. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Um, I mean, you guys saw my prediction. I had the low end, the low end, the worst map I had for Kamala was Kamala 276. The best map I had for Kamala was Kamala 355, right? And my, I think my most realistic line is Kamala 319, but it's kind of crazy to me that he admits that there's all these problems with these pollsters and then he just uses them anyway, right? So he, just to explain it to you guys real quick, yes, the major polling outlets do appear to be just punting and saying it's about 50-50, so basically lying, right? He brings up Emerson. There's others as well. Virtually every poll for an extended period of time was like, exactly tied, exactly tied. Um, but you have that, right, mixed with the garbage right-wing pollsters who are just completely lying in a pro-Trump direction. So Atlas Intel is one, and, and Trafalgar is another, and Rasmussen, and 
And I know they're cheating because uh, Ann Selzer released her poll from Iowa. It had Kamala plus three. And then that same day, they immediately did their own poll and said, actually, it's Trump plus seven. And it's like everything is like information warfare to try to make it seem like, oh, he's, he's a slight favorite. He's a slight favorite. Um, so if you have the right wing pollsters doing right wing hack polls and normally people say, hey, in 2020, they were the most accurate. OK, but in 2022, they were the least accurate. So you can't like their whole model is every time. Oh, look, Republicans are winning. Republicans are winning. Republicans are winning. There are some of these pollsters. Literally, they might do a poll and then just add two points to the Republicans. And it's like, OK, but what about in elections like in 2022, where you had to add two points to the Democrats? What about that? That's a four point difference. Your polls are basically useless at that point. So you have all so many of these right wing junk pollsters who are giving bogus numbers that are massively pro-Republican, and then the so-called reputable pollsters are punting and saying it's 50-50. And it's like, so for you to say the race is even in a scenario where it's a million right-wing junk pollsters and some legitimate ones that are just giving up and saying it's tied, that, that leaves us with a completely deranged picture of the scenario. And again, all the evidence I've seen, the early voting numbers... Um, the late polls, the reputable pollsters, like the YouGov poll of 48,000 likely voters, that had Kamala plus four. That had Kamala plus four. C Trump was winning 89% of Republicans. Kamala was winning 95 or 96% of Democrats. And she was getting a lot of crossover Republican votes, and she was massively winning independents. You have the Selzer poll, who she's been remarkably accurate with her predictions in the past, right? All the stuff that I've seen, I agree with Nate that it looks like they just are cheating and lying, but I take that to the next logical step, which is it looks to me like Kamala's probably comfortable. That's what it looks like. So I'm actually surprised he's still going with, oh, yeah, it's kind of tied. And then the other thing is, like, if Kamala wins big, don't they realize that's just as embarrassing to them? Right? Like, when they say it's tied, it gives the impression of it'll be a small win in one direction or the other direction. Right? But if you have a big win in one direction or the other direction, then your tie sort of also looks like, even though you're trying to protect your reputation, it still fucking destroys your reputation. So why not do real polls? So anyway, there's a few pollsters that I think are trustworthy. That giant YouGov poll of likely voters, 48,000 of them, the Selzer poll. Um, there are some here and there, but uh, he's accurately identifying a real problem, but then his forecast is still relying on... The, those liars. So I don't know what you're doing here, Nate. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.